a beautiful Friday morning to all the wonderful gardeners worldwide. I just want to show you what I'm growing in my balcony here in Saudi Arabia. Now you're looking at my seedling trays. These are some red basil and some sweet basil. I have no plans. I have no plans of transplanting them in pots. I'm just letting them grow here and I'm watering them through bottom through the bottom of the pot and putting water just pouring water there I got some fresh onions spring onions I got some wonderful Siberian kale I bought the seeds of this plant online one marigold there and I think this is either a cabbage or a cauliflower or a broccoli over here some more spring onions papaya this is I think another kale I got another papaya a couple of tomatoes another tomato seedling there and I think this is a spinach or something like that or a bok choy this is something new for me actually first I thought it's basil but it didn't turn out to be this is a red basil no, I just don't know what this one is. This, I think, is a dying sage. I tried to grow this in my kitchen window, but it didn't work out. Okay, this is a Hong Kong water spinach in a water bottle. These are all, this ha you see hanging here are all water bottles. And I saw this technique from my last visit in the Joy of Gardening in Quezon Memorial Circle, a project of Joy Belmonte and Herbert Bautista. This is a tomato, a bok choy, another tomato hanging, a couple of papayas, more bok choy, and more bok choy. If you notice this, I'm growing as it's supposed to be because they're sort of crowded in this pots and a little bit smaller because it's not getting any sun here. This is just a bright balcony, no direct sun at all. Now over here are my daily leaves. These are yellow daily leaves courtesy of Ati Poleng during my last vacation in the Philippines. I got a couple more daily leaves there and these vines that you see here covering this area are a combination of sweet potatoes and bitter melon. This is a bitter melon. I have a marigold here courtesy of my friend Ate Emma Tolentino who gave me some seeds. This is a potted pomegranate tree that I'm trying to bonsai. Another marigold, some citrus seedlings there, and this spot with this Brazilian mango. Got new, new shoots there. And here I'm growing this, uh, trying air pruning technique. I drilled some holes on the side of the container and I have lined it with a landscape fabric to encourage more root growth. My cats are. I have no idea where they are. Okay, these are some sickly duckweeds. It's not getting enough sun. That's why I think it's behaving like that. These are some pomegranate seeds, Indian pomegranate seeds that I am drying off because I hope to germinate them soon. These are Moringa leaves that I'm air drying for my snails. This is where my snails are. Got an aquaponic system there with some um, catfish and some tropical fish, a couple of tropical fish. And what's growing in my aquaponics is a tomato here. This is a regular trash can that I got. This is just an experiment, but it kind of worked it out properly. And I love that. This is a bell pepper, uh, some kind of pepper. I'm not sure if it's bell pepper or the long pepper. It's this one's a basil, and this is where one of this bitter melon originated. You can see it's 
kind of like a jungling on this side. If you see, if you look at my balcony from this angle, it's uh, has all these vines here and there. My love birds there. These are my. This is my lufa. As you can see, it's got beautiful big leaves. I love it. I stick the end out so that it will grow from the outside. But it reached. It's the bitter melon actually that reached all the way up there. I did not put any trellis for them to climb on. I am growing also some duckweed on this side. Th these are better looking duckweeds. It's getting all the nutrients. This is just like a crude clarifier for my aquaponics. It's got another spot that's directly coming from from the from the bean. I got some azola here also from my friend Safe of the, the Krishi group. My two cats are here. I have to drag them out. Here is another small aquaponics system. I have one tilapia. I said one tilapia here, and these are two turmeric plants, a tomato seedling that I replanted, another pepper that I replanted, this is another vine, I don't know if this is squash or another one of those lufa plants. Go inside! You, inside! My cats are just trying to disturb me. This is another lufa. And my first time to grow beets on dirt. It kind of worked out fine, but the leaves are curly. I'm suspecting because it's not getting enough light. But it's continuously growing though. Some new shoots there. These are beets. I got it from the soup from the market and I just uh, rooted it there. My oregano, this is what, what remains of my two year old oregano because the Rats consume the rat or rats consumed it. Taro, a self watering container pot. This is a big sub irrigated pot, wicking, wicking style there. Here we got a few orchids. These are a combination of cattleyas and dancing ladies, or what have you. Uh, I'm just trying them out. I don't know if they will survive here in Saudi Arabia. I don't know what this is called. Some more dancing ladies there. These are the, these are the Kaplayas. And I hope that they will do fine. And here I got almost dying Vanda. I hope that they will survive. So far this one is doing well, I think. Here. The root is still fine. And my kitty cat is trying to either be amused or wants to eat my fish. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Inside, you, you. Okay, good, they're back. Anyway, let's continue on with my short video. Yeah, this is short. These are the, some more of those Siberian kale. Curly, beautiful, in inverted uh, water bottles. I just poked some holes there and the first hole is just about uh, an inch I think, a couple of inch from the bottom to provide some water retention, you know, something that will keep them hydrated during the day. Another one of those kale and another one of those kale. I kind of like how this, I like the curliness of these leaves, you know. It's beautiful and encouraging. I'm gonna be cutting them off for a salad, perhaps. Now, what's watering? How do I water my orchids? To these water bottles. And I use this small... This is an air controller for the air pump in aquariums, for aquariums. Get in... Go inside! Go inside! And what I do is I just let them drip once a day. Or every two days slow drip I can use the principle of you know this dextrose when they're doing it in the hospital yeah and then I just want to show you some of the flowers that my 
Kerala plant are giving out. And I see some, most of the flowers are male. Although I saw a few female flowers here and there, probably three somewhere. This is a beautiful vine of the Lufa. Look, the Lufa and the uh, Kerala are just uh, climbing on each other. Okay, this is a vertical system that I devised. <laughs> I'm using these pots that I got from the Philippines and I, I use this PVC pipe as support yeah I know it's very crude and I have to redo that again to make it more presentable this is my sweet potato vine it's growing from a grow bag that I got from the internet and I have a tub here a small tub here so I let excess water just, you know, stay there. It keeps it hydrated. These are some lemon or citrus. It's marigold. Another marigold that I got from Ateyama. This is a, I don't know if this is still alive. It's a sweet potato, but one of the, one of the few rare things that I got very excited about is this yam. This is a sweet yam. See how long? The mother vine is. Those are some tomatoes and some seedlings. This is about uh, four feet in height now, and I think it's uh, going to grow more. And then try to, and then we'll start shooting some leaves here. Yes, I got I got this purple yam from Sarawat. And I said that this is my chance to try doing purple yam. Got a ginger there. This is a ginger. A couple of papaya seedlings and a marigold. Some more seedlings there. So, those are my plates. This is the view from the other side of the balcony. It's a small balcony. It's about one meter, one meter wide. One or a few, a few inches more. And then about, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, maybe around five meters long. But I try to maximize the space and I try to to do whatever I can to put as much plant as I can. These are some petunias that I got last night. Oh my god, this god is going to destroy my plants and my fish. So some petunias there that I'm going to to plant later on. Sorry for that. I'm going to use the inverted water bottle as well for these petunias and this colius. Go inside, go inside. Okay. These are some Swiss charred seedlings. That doesn't look very healthy at all. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's a long video, I know. But I just want to encourage you now, if you're living in Saudi Arabia, if you're living in an apartment, you've got a small balcony that receives some good amount of light, you can start doing something. You can start planting. You can start planting plants that you can eat. You can start planting plants that makes you feel happy, flowering plants, or you can even start growing some trees and then looks for a vacant plot here and replant it there. <laughs> This is an exciting, exciting, beautiful, growing, beautifully growing day lily. I just kind of love how it adjusted. Oh, these are growing, I have to tell you, these are growing in uh, grow bags. And that one is growing in a sub-irrigated pot made out of 6 liter water bottle. And some of these plants are growing in this, you know, crude experimental air pruning pots. So that's about it. I'm gonna be leaving you with a picture of this mango and this beautiful red basil and sweet basil. Thank you for watching.